So, okay, we're going to have to change pace here. Obviously, anything that involves stopping sexual relations of any kind is not going to be our strong suit, for obvious reasons. Why don't we try something a little more political? Oh, right, because that's a great idea. We're almost as successful in our attempts at deviant sexuality as we are in our social conscientiousness. Well, what do you mean? I have a crystal. Crystal, you would do well to remember that the FBI did, in fact, just add a couple of pages to your dossier due to your recent G20 riot exploits. And uh, personally, I'm still under investigation for my part in the self-immolation of 12 Buddhist monks during the Vietnam War. That is just weird. Yeah. But no, 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 but Margaret, th th this is it. Our skill set is perfect. We're going to be subversive. Oh. Seriously. Okay, well, it doesn't involve the setting of fire for religious devotees or absconding from mounted, mil mounted policemen after inciting riots. We can, I believe, quite successfully convince the Jewish people to stop from declaring a king, thus destroying their egalitarian social structure. Look here. Huh. All right, no king. Okay, I gotta say I got a little bit more faith in you here, but apparently God did try to dissuade them. king who will reign over you will do. He will take your sons and make them serve with his chariots and horses, others to plow his ground and reap his harvest, and still others to make weapons of war. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vineyards. He will take a tenth of your grain and the best of your cattle and donkeys. When the day comes, you will cry out for relief from the king you have chosen, and the Lord will not answer you on that day. All right, all right. Persuading argument, God. But there's only one way to convince a people to extricate themselves from an oppressing situation. Oh, okay, by instilling in them the desire to escape exploitation? Oh, by making them realize the value of their freedom and their right to real self-actualization through a caring community based on the values of egalitarianism? Wrong, Margaret. Oh. That has been tried and has failed. It's hardcore punk rock. Huh? Rock? You know, like that scene in Star Trek IV with the really annoying kid with the loud music and the mohawk that Spock gave the Vulcan nerve pitch to? Oh, that's punk. Right, right. Oh, you see, cool. once the sounds and rhythm of, of real hardcore punk rock rebellion and youthful angst hits their souls, they'll realize that really and truly any imbalance of power distribution in the community is degenerative to the creative spirit. Thus, I declare that we utilize this occasionally obnoxious toll of the 1980s to free the minds and spirits of the people of the Jewish nation. Okay, well, your logic's convoluted, your informational foundation is entirely false, and the entire premise is based on a faulty presumption of human behavior, but our current economic and political structures did stand for decades on shakier ground. So, what do you say, comrade? Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Thou should be seen and not heard. But I think our bondage are yours! What do you think of? Ray specs. Okay, well, apparently the cultural divide between anti capitalist counterculture 1970s Londoners and Semites of 1000 BC is a little more difficult to cross than we had imagined. I guess. So, you're king now, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, Solomon is the name. Uh, sorry about being king. Uh, it's alright. Yeah, just, just the downfall of all of humanity. Uh, I am supposed to be wise and stuff, if that makes any difference whatsoever. <sighs> no hard feelings? No, no, it's, it's okay. <clears throat> we cool? Whatever, might as well be. Yeah, we cool. <laughs> hey, uh, do you girls want to come back and drink some wine? No, no, I'm, I'm Buddhist. Yeah, yeah, no Muslim. But, you got 
some reefer, I could be down with that. <laughs> it's good to be king. Uh, so should we have a bangeth with him? Yeah, let's bangeth. <laughs>